Patina Thunderdome 3 is just about to start. It starts on October the 1st, so just a few more days. And of course, I decided to participate in this one too, like I did in the last uh, contest. And I thought I'd make this video going over the boots that I, I'll be wearing during that contest. These are my entry to the, <laughs> to the Patina Challenge, and uh, I thought I'd make this video and go over them. These ones are by the Unmark brand. Uh, this is the, a brand located in Leon, Mexico. By the way, I'm making this video with the only purpose of uh, inform or to talk about the boots. I'm not by any means uh, sponsored by the brands that I'm talking about here. Uh, I will link the uh, the website with the information of these boots in case that you are interested. Uh, these ones are, like I said, the unmarked brand located in Mexico. And this is the uh, Richie Red model. This is a lace to toe model. The upper leather here also comes from a tannery in Mexico. It's called La Señora. And this is what they call it, a glaze pull up leather. It looks very supple. It looks like it will patina nicely. This is a 360 Goodyear welt here all around the boots. And uh, it has a, a double rod of stitching if you can see there in the welt. Very nice. I don't have anything similar to these boots. I never had them before. I was able to uh, score these boots from another user from the uh, Stitch Down Discord. Uh, I think he ordered one site and then uh, he decided to sell it to me. And I thought I used them as my entry for the Patina Thunderdome 3. Uh, by the way, if you're uh, new to this channel, you never heard about the Patina Thunderdome contest. Uh, it is a contest sponsored or organized by our good friends of the Stitch Down podcast. Um, starts in October 1st and goes all the way to April. So uh, you enter the contest by the, starting with a brand new pair of boots and just wear them as much as you can. I patina them and submit pictures, uh, monthly updates on the uh, Patina project app that you have to download on your phone and upload your photos there. there you're required to upload five photos. And those are the photos that are gonna be judged by every month. Uh, you can, uh, of course, upload as many pictures as you want, but only five photos are the ones that are gonna be, you have to select the, the photos there and uh, submit those. So back to the boots. This one has uh, featured a half sole here. Uh, the rubber sole here is very similar to Dr. Sole, but this one is called a uh, Biltrite. Uh, it's anti-slip. Anti um, very nice, very nice uh, sole. I don't know what to tell you about uh, this uh, brand. Like I said, uh, I will link uh, the website and you can go and see all the information about it. Uh, Richie Red, they have uh, this model, they have it in three different colors, I think, a brown color and also a black, um, a black color from their website. On market brand, uh, no very well-known uh, brand of boots, only, Probably amount boot enthusiast is, uh, is known, and uh, they offer a, a bunch of uh, different type of footwear, boots, uh, sandals, uh, slip-on shoes, formal shoes, all kind of stuff. Um, because last year I entered it, and if, you, if you're curious actually, you can go and see my previous videos about the Patina Thunderdome. Last year I entered with a pair of uh, brass boots, and um, I did okay. I was happy with the end result, although I didn't qualify to the top 20 because usually it's about in the 
700 participants so it's really really hard to get selected on the top 20 this year i'm entering not with the purpose of qualify for for the top 20 uh, best patina boots i'm just doing it for the fun of it i had so much fun last year i made a lot of friends i uh, participated in the chat on the stitch down um, uh, discord server made a lot of friends there i even score some of the deals that they have in the marketplace uh, hence here are these boots that came from there and this is my entry for this year patina of a contest but in addition to that i have other items here that i want to uh, pair with the boots and uh, wear these ones during the contest such as uh, this pair of jeans here by the left field these ones are their uh, smug smug smoker stock uh design this one is actually a straight leg salvage salvage uh, jeans you can see here the salvage id is a red salvage id the denim for these jeans comes from the vidalia mills here in uh, louisiana and uh it feels like a really nice and soft denim these ones are 14 ounces denim, so it's not that heavy. I've been wearing a pair of uh, uh, Brave Star 17.5 ounces denim, and it's really stiff. I'm still in the process of breaking them in. I've been wearing them for four months. So I wanna wear these ones also during the uh, patina contest, along with these boots, and uh, see how that turns out. I'm curious how this uh, denim will age with time and will also develop patina. Some of the nice things about these uh, jeans is, like you can see here, the packet is that made with some kind of a, like a bandana design. The, uh, it is also branded by the uh, left, left field New York people. And this nice leather, leather patch in the back of the jean. It has also the hidden rivets in the back in the back pocket. And it has the five standard five uh, pocket jeans with a watch pocket here, small po pocket uh, pocket watch pocket and also it got the the buttons it has the i don't know if you can see their brand in it and the rest of the buttons is like the donut the donut button here um it has four buttons in the back and uh, they are all the same as these ones because i haven't worn this these pants yet uh waiting for the contest to start uh the the hole for the buttons kind of feel hard to button right now and unbutton them so i'm not gonna be doing that you can see here uh, made in usa and also it has here the um the vidalia vidalia the branding for where the denim came from a really nice pair of jeans i'm actually looking forward to <laughs> start uh breaking them in too with the boots and in addition to the jeans, in addition to the boots, I'll be wearing uh, this belt here. Uh, where I work, we uh, often hire uh, A just for the summertime. Uh, most of the time they're students. And this year, uh, luckily for me, I guess, uh, the uh, student aid we hire is uh, a leather good enthusiast. So. And his last day, he had made this belt for me. I thought it was really nice. So I will be uh, patina them too, along with the jeans and the boots during the contest and uh, see how that turns out. This, the, this belt is the, made with the, uh, wa water buffalo leather. Really nice leather. I, don't, I, I didn't ask where he got this leather from, uh, for what tannery or whatever so it was just a gift for me i didn't ask any questions but look at the nice 
hardware for for the belt and uh, it's the perfect size so I will also be wearing this that belt the jeans and also the boots I got I also wanted to get a pair of gloves uh, leather gloves to patina it's I live here in Michigan and uh, the contests usually take part during the colder months here in uh, sometimes when I go on the walk try to put miles miles in the boots uh, it's kind of cold I would like to get some uh, gloves too but I think at this point it's already too late to order new gloves so I will have to wear the, some of the old gloves that I have and uh, maybe if I participate in the patina thunderdome next year I'll uh, try to get a pair of gloves too but for now this is all what I'm entering with uh, of course the the uh, contest is only for boots I am uh, making the choice to also uh, get other items to go along with the boots but uh, they will not be judged by the, the contest uh, judge so just the boots here and uh, that's that's all I have um, that's all I have for this video too thank you very much for tuning in my name is um, Ben Benjamin Chavez and uh, I'm trying to develop this channel with uh, some more content about uh, footwear mostly but now that I'm getting other other items too I may have uh, makes uh, some of those videos too when go over the process of uh, edging uh, breaking it in and uh, maybe even uh, taking care of uh, some of these the items of um, I'm planning on uh, give this the uh, jeans uh, so less watch that I've done with other uh, denims that I have and uh, see how they uh, develop character uh, with wear so that's what uh, I'm going to make the contents of this uh, channel moving forward so if you're interested in that kind of thing please uh, hit the like button for this channel that way it will help me uh, to get uh, beyond just the uh, a uh, few uh, viewers that I have and uh, also maybe other people that will be interested in this kind of topics can also get the suggestion for the videos also remember to uh, subscribe to the channel then um, hang out here uh, with us in the comment sections of these uh, videos and provide some of your thoughts and uh, these items and uh, some of the other items I have um, I've been uh, uploading videos that, about footwear boots and uh, some other stuff so uh, let us know what you think and uh, participate in the conversation until I get to talk to you again please stay well bye